So this is a pre-training muscle fibre, okay? And what we can see here is the grey dots represent the myofibril. So they were like the, the red uh, uh, little filaments I was doing in my drawing. So you've got the um, grey uh, myofibrils, grey areas. Um, then you've got the blue, you've got this light blue part. This is the myonucleus. And this is what will donate the genetic instructions for the cells to, uh, to divide. And then we've got these blue um, circles, which are the mitochondria. They provide the energy to the muscle. Now, what we're interested in then is what's happening in this phase here. So we've undergone a resistance training program. We, we're at week six or seven, uh, maybe week eight. And we're actually now starting to get an increase in the cross-sectional area of the, the muscle. So there's a 30% increase in cross-sectional area when compared to baseline. How is that happening? Well, well, firstly, we have the growth of new myofibrils. So we have complete growth of new myofibrils. And we're going to talk about how that actually happens in just a couple of slides time. But these yellow dots here represent new myofibrils growing on the, the periphery of the muscle cell. So this is the, the, the sarcolemma. And this is the muscle cell. These are all of the original myofibrils. And these are the new ones. And there's a 30% increase in the number of myofibrils on the periphery. Okay. Now, that's one way that the muscle fiber becomes bigger. That's one way how my bicep becomes bigger. Then we have another thing that's happening at the same time, okay? We, we have the existing myofibril. So these gray dots here, they enlarge in their size. So we have an increase in, in their size as well. So each kind of bundle or each uh, myofilament is also increasing in diameter. So 30% thickening of pre-existing myofibrils. So what we can see in, in, with this diagram here quite uh, uh, eloquently is an increase in the number of myofibrils and an increase in the size of the existing myofibrils and that's what contributes to muscle growth and remember these myofibrils have got uh, lots of uh, the actin and myosin which are, the more actin and myosin the stronger the muscle is going to be. While we're on this paper, uh, topic I want to plant a seed into your mind. What we can see on these my around these myofibrils is the sarcoplasm so this light pink part is the water part of the, the cell. This is the part which is doesn't is not involved in muscle contraction but contains uh, glycogen, glucose, contains um, ribosomes, it contains uh, uh, mainly water okay? so the, and other ions as well that move from out of the muscle cell into it. But we'll talk a little bit more about why that's important but I just want to illustrate that concept right now.